in the 60s and 70s. I heard it often. My grandchildren today might not hear it very much. Annette Bruce had learned Blackfoot while growing up on Kainai Nation, one of four nations in Alberta which speak it. She spent many years working to revitalize the language because both of her parents attended residential schools, a place where they were not allowed to speak it. You know, they were told that our ways, our language were irrelevant, that they were you know, the way of the dinosaur. Since the 60s, fewer and fewer people are speaking and learning Blackfoot. But Annette was inspired to help put this website together, full of resources with a grant from the Alberta government. Sa -e duck. Sa -e duck. Annette says colonization took culture and language away from Indigenous people, but to preserve them means she's helping to take it back. We were dehumanized, and so when we learn our language, we bring our humanity back to ourselves, to our families, to our community, and to, um, to the world. Engaging in language revitalization work is not at all just about language. It's really about identity, community, um, worldview, society. Heather Bliss is a linguistics lecturer who researches Indigenous language revitalization. She met Annette while working on the website. Omate Duxon. She says because colonization took language away over several generations, work to bring it back will be the same. You know, it took many, many generations for Indigenous languages to be under the threats that they're under now. You know, this was ongoing colonization that sort of, you know, had these lasting impacts of children not passing their language, growing up and then not passing their languages onto their children. And it sort of, you know, whittled things away very slowly. And now it's going to take many, many generations for things to be built back up again. One of the elders in, in one of our sessions with him, and there was a group of us, he was talking about mastery is when one person has the knowledge. Harmony is when the whole group has that knowledge. You can find these resources at holyspirit.ab.ca. In Calgary, Taylor Brought City News.